Could you say that one more time? Testing. One, two, three. Perfect. Good enough? Yes, sir. Okay. Alrighty. So if we can just go over a little bit about what this meeting is for and what's important for San Angelo residents to know. Yeah, it's great. I always welcome an opportunity to give people a legislative update, kind of where we were at last session, where we're going at into January 23, which is when the next session starts. And we're in hot and heavy of the interim committee process. So every committee is currently meeting and will continue to meet till late fall. Uh, bill follow stage for January 23 is November, so you get ideas from constituents. You kind of give them an update on what the state of Texas is doing and any, ask your questions. I'll get questions all over the board, probably from Ukraine and national matters down to state letters, uh, matters and things that are not my jurisdiction. But it's just good to be out and communicate with the people you represent. That's kind of the core, core mission, I guess, of a uh, citizens legislature is to be involved with citizens and there's nothing like one-on-one -on -one or group meetings with face-to-face -face. you know zoom that's not a way to get things done and just actually having a communication with people and let them ask questions that are relevant to them what do you think is the most important thing for people to take away from uh, this meeting today? well i think uh, if i'm sitting in the audience and don't know any different you're going to figure out the state of texas is big mm -hmm. it's very diverse in needs across the region so we need water out here I think the state in general needs water right now. We're going through a drought. Um, I have a role in that, hopefully, to secure water. Uh, that we have a great economy, that doom and gloom is not upon us, that our Texas economy seems to outperform and continues to lead the way. Uh, so we're going to be okay from a finance perspective, but we've got issues in CPS, foster care, public. It's, it's a very diverse um, role. Senator, you get to sit on a lot of committees with a lot of different jurisdictions. So I think they're probably going to walk away with, man, it's a big state, a lot of stuff going on. Some things are really challenging, but Texas in general can probably meet those challenges. So it's a pretty positive experience. Just we're fortunate to be in Texas. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it.